Hi friends, it's Joan at Ten Pentacles Tarot. I'm back with a review of the Zombie Tarot. Now this is something, my husband is a big zombie fan, and I found this for him for Christmas. Now, um, it says, Inside an Ammunition for Surviving the Undead Uprising. Alright. Um, Mystical Prediction Oracle with Card Deck and Instructions. So that's the top of the box. Um, here it says Hazards. Hazards, hazards. Here it says wands. Oh, okay, so wands, swords, cups, and then pentacles are hazards. All right, so this is a two-piece box, the top and bottom. This is what the side looks like. Zombie tarot. In the event of a zombie attack, get to a secure location. Open this box and consult the zombie tarot. This fully functional 78-card tarot deck offers valuable advice on life, love, family friendship, automatic firearms, premature burials, cannibalistic children, and more. The enclosed instruction book shows how to interpretate, interpretate, oh my gosh, interpret all 78 cards and provides helpful tips on giving a reading. And then this is the other side. It says past, present, and future. And here we go. Zombie tarot, high caliber divination. Mystical Prediction Oracle by Stacy Graham and Headcase Design. And then on the bottom, this is what's really interesting to me. U.S. $19.99, Canada $22.99. And I thought, why is this so inexpensive? So let's take a look. All right, so that's the box. It's black inside the top. And um, here's what this side of the bottom of part of the box looks like. It has, my husband thought that was really cool. That has the ammunition there. All right. And we have the guidebook, and we'll look through the guidebook. And this is a really deep box. It has this really deep insert. And um, we'll look at the cards in a minute, but let's check out the guidebook first. All right. It's a little guidebook. Um, that's what the back looks like and the front looks like that. And um, if you like zombies, you are sure to love this. Now, this is what I found interesting. This was published in 2012 by Quirk Productions Incorporated. I think that must be why the price is so low for this type of deck. This seems just like, like a really low price to me. And then, um, so it was published in 2012, and I know I have never seen it before until this day we went to, um, in another city, a Barnes & Noble in another city, and that is where I found it. All right, so I like the way this, uh, the, uh, sorry, the paper in the book looks aged, you know, kind of uh, dark around the edges and yellowed. So table of contents, zombie tarot, your weapon of choice. Introduction, understanding the suits and numbers, nice. Conducting a reading, and it gives you some spreads. Uh, I love the names of these spreads. Um, the Broken Heart, the Gravestone, the Eyeball, and the Severed Head. All right, that's graphic. All right, so then we have Major Arcana, and each Major Arcana has its own page. You have a small picture of the card. You have... Um, um, the, you know, words, uh, keywords, sorry, keywords, and then the description. Now, I don't see reverse meanings on these. I don't see reverse meanings on these. And some, um, you know, some books don't, and some decks don't include them. You can always, if they're reversed, you can always, you know, make your own reverse meaning. Sometimes people are, do like, okay, if it's reversed, then you need to pay special attention to this card. Or if it's reversed, the, um, the energy of the card is blocked temporarily. All right, so if you're interested in knowing more about that, check out my um, 10 Lessons on Tarot for Beginners if you're interested. All right, so anyway, we go on here um, all through the Major Arcana until we get to the world. And then we have the Minor Arcana, so Cups, Wands, Swords, and Hazards. So we have... Um, the suit of cups again we have keywords and 
um, and a meaning here. And again, I'm not seeing a reverse meaning. That's why I paused to see if there was one. So we'll do a short reading at the end so you guys can see how the book is written and see if you like it. So we go through the suit of cups. And I have to say, um, the pictures, some of the pictures are quite graphic. So yeah, if you don't like that, then you won't probably enjoy this deck. Um, swords. I like it as a novelty deck. It's probably not one I would do readings with, but I do like it because it's really different. Okay, um, and then the suit of hazards. All right, and then at the end, oh, it has one of these advertising pages with, do you remember magazines used to have these? Oh my gosh, that's funny. And then it's like self-defense lessons, um, rot away, get rid of these horrid, horrid dead spots. Oh my gosh, that's funny. And then there's another page of that. All right, so that's the guidebook. Now let's take a look at the cards. There we go. All right, so the cards are um, um, medium weight. They're bendy. They are um, matte finish. There's, I mean, once that light gets on them, it's a little bit, but that's pretty much a matte finish or even maybe a satin finish. This is what the back looks like. We have a zombie... Um, it looks like a zombie fortune teller, actually. <laughs> All right. And so let's take a look at the cards. So there's the fool, the magician. And these are all really old-fashioned looking. Um, I like them. They're neat. The, pre the high priestess, the empress. And it says the name of the card. And then it says the number of the card. And... Um, on the Major Arcana, it says Major Arcana. And the Emperor. And, of course, these are all zombie apocalypse-related pictures. The Hierophant. They look like they're really from, I'd say, the 1950s. The Lovers. The Chariot. Let me see if I can get uh, more evenly spaced there. Um, Justice. The Hermit. The Wheel of Fortune, Strength, The Hanged Man, Death, and of course there's a card with bullets, and it's, you've got to understand this is coming from the um, headspace of Zombie Apocalypse. Temperance, um, The Devil, that is a cigarette machine. That's, I haven't seen one of those in years. The tower. The star. If anybody out there remembers those cigarette machines, let me know. I might, might be the oldest person who was involved with this at all. Okay, the moon. The sun. Judgment. And the world. And now we move to the suit of cups. All right, see, it's pretty graphic. Uh, the Ace of Cups, the Two of Cups, the Three of Cups, the Four of Cups, the Five of Cups, the Six of Cups. And a lot of these people, they have one human and one zombie. The Seven of Cups, the Eight of Cups, The Nine of Cups, the Ten of Cups, the Page of Cups, the Knight of Cups, the Queen of Cups, and the King of Cups. Now we have the Ace of Wands, the Two of Wands. The Three of Wands, the Four of Wands, the Five of Wands, the Six of Wands, the Seven of Wands, the Eight of Wands, the Nine of Wands, the Ten of Wands, ugh, the Page of Wands, the Knight of Wands, the Queen of Wands, and the King of Wands. Now we move on to the suit of swords, and we have the Ace of Swords, 
the two of swords, the three of swords, the four of swords, the five of swords, the six of swords, the seven of swords, ew, the eight of swords, the nine of swords, the ten of swords, the page of swords, the knight of swords, the queen of swords, and the king of swords. And you know, I realize this deck isn't going to be for everybody. Like I said, I would probably not choose to read with this deck, but it is, it is a great novelty deck. Especially for people who just really like horror movies and zombie movies. Um, the Ace of Hazards, and this is again is Pentacles. Two of Hazards, Three of Hazards, Four of Hazards. And for what it is, it's really well done. Five of Hazards, Six of Hazards, Seven of Hazards, Eight of Hazards, Nine of Hazards, Ten of Hazards. Page of Hazards, Knight of Hazards, Queen of Hazards, and King of Hazards. And, you know, truly it is gross. It has to really grow some gross pictures. But, you know, if you like zombies, it's going to be your thing. So these cards really weren't meant to be reversed because the um, zombie fortune teller on the back is only goes one way. So they're not really made for reversals. So let's do a, let's see how they shuffle. Yeah, they're stiff. Okay, they're stiff, but I mean, they shuffle fine. They don't stick together. Um, I've really actually, for as thin as they felt and bendy, I thought they would, um, you know, shuffle, bend a little easier. But I mean, they shuffle fine. They don't stick. Let's do a quick one card draw so we can, um, you can see how the book is written. All right, so. Spirit, what what does our viewer need to keep in mind right now? What there it is, it jumped right out, and it's the sun. Alright, so let me set this up so you can see it while I read from the book. There's the sun card. At least we got a nice card for a zombie deck. <laughs> Alright, and that's a major arcana card, so that's good. So let's find the sun. And it says, the key words are, I'm starting to heat up. Hopefully my camera doesn't cut off. If it does, thank you for being with me. But the sun, um, the key words are success, enlightenment, and hope. It says, sweet success. The morning sun has risen and the rescue teams have arrived. After foiling a hostile takeover by the undead, you've earned a one-way ticket to a safer place. Now it's time to make plans for the future. Consider traveling to warmer climes or getting a new job. There's good money in corpse disposal nowadays. <laughs> There's good money in corpse disposal nowadays. Oh my goodness. All right. Well, I, to me, the description here was not really, it was kind of written for fun. It's kind of funny. Um, it does say sweet success. So, um, and it does give you the keyword success, enlightenment, and hope. So you could do a reading with this. You know, it's just, it's up to you if it's your thing. But anyway, that was my review of the zombie tarot again by where are my writers here um hold on let me give these people some credit i did say their names once um let's see it says instructions by stacy graham cards illustrated by paul keppel and ralph Jeroni of Headcase Design and published by Cork Books in 2012. So that is an oldie but a goodie. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. It's completely free for you. And if you hit the notification bell, you'll be notified every time a new video is uploaded and ready to view. So I want to thank you for joining me. I appreciate you more than you'll ever know. I hope you have a wonderful morning, afternoon, or evening, whatever it is where you are, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye.